you know, I could come on here and make a 10 minute video about we're gonna beat the shit out of the Carolina Panthers, but I'm not. First of all, it's a short week. We play up in Charlotte on Thursday night. Uh, I've said this a million times, yours truly will be in Bank of America Stadium on Thursday night, but that's not what this is about. The Falcons should beat the Panthers' asses. Uh, dry cut simple. We should beat this team's ass. After that miraculous win they had over Tampa Bay a couple weeks ago, they went back to being the same old Carolina Panthers. What, they had that, they thought they were going to steal it from us in Atlanta, and they didn't. And you can tell they really did get up for that game because first place was on the line in that game. Carolina, I think, knows their season, season is over. They fired some more coaches earlier this week. P.J. Walker, who they benched, they're going to be putting back on the field. We should whoop this team's ass. It, personally, I don't even think we should allow them to score. Now, that won't happen. Yes, they'll score some points, <laughs> but we should whoop their ass. Uh, I believe rain is in the forecast for Thursday. That definitely does benefit us with how we love to pound the rock. But you do still, you do have to account for Dante Foreman. And if it doesn't rain, you know, you still got to come and you still got to come to play. And if we do that, then I just think we're going to beat the shit out of Carolina. I don't think with everything going on with Carolina this week, them getting their asses handed to them on Sunday, firing some coaches. We should absolutely whoop their ass. Now, who knows? You know, maybe they make it a close game, but the Falcons should win this game nonetheless. If the Falcons do not, I'm going to say this. If the Falcons find a way to lose this game, we don't deserve to go shit this year. Because... This is a game right here that should be considered an automatic win with Carolina's situation. Now, nothing is automatic with the Falcons, but this should be that one game that we just come in and we kick them in the fucking mouth and we dig them deeper or kick them deeper into their fucking grave of a season that they are having. Uh... And I think that's probably honestly going to happen. I don't see a scenario where Carolina wins this game. I really don't. If the Falcons come to play 60 minutes of football, I think we're going to whoop this team's ass. <laughs> so, DBN, those of us making the trip up to Charlotte, get ready to celebrate. Because I feel like we're going to absolutely whoop this team's ass. We're going to pound the rock on them. And I feel like this is going to be a big W. <laughs> uh, we know Panthers fans, they aren't loyal to their team. They're useless at this point in time. They're all in hiding. They know their team sucks. So that even in the worst division in football, they can't contend. So, But I'll be making the trip up to Charlotte on Thursday. I'm stoked. I'm excited. I'm ready to see the Falcons kick some ass. <laughs> At the home away from home, Mercedes-Benz North is what I pretty much call it. Because I feel like we haven't lost in Charlotte in five years, I think so. So, we really play better in Charlotte than we do in Atlanta. So, the Falcons, they should kick ass on Thursday night. Yes, it's a short week. Yes, we're dealing with some injuries. But... Carolina, they're one of the worst teams in the league. They are already dealing with issues, you know, with the coaching. And you can tell that they don't know who the hell their quarterback is. So I feel like this is a game where the defense is going to have a big game. I feel like we pound the rock. If it's raining, I wouldn't be shot. I don't even think Mariota's going to throw 10 times. Heck, <laughs> even if it's a clear sky, he might not throw 10 times. But. Nonetheless, it's all about winning. I, that's what the Falcons should do. They should kick ass on Thursday. And I'll be up there. Let's get it, DBN. Let's go kick the Carolina Panthers' ass. And I'm out.